Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll be taking you through the friendly journey of cleaning my PC, sharing some cool tips along the way. So let's dive right in. Before we dive into the cleaning journey, let's take a quick look at the initial benchmark result. I use Cinebench R23 to stretch the CPU for 10 minutes and guess what, the temperature hit a whopping 97 degrees Celsius. Now let's see if we can make a dent in that with a good cleaning session. So here are some quick and easy tips to keep in mind. First step, always, always turn off the power before messing with any cables. Safety first, right? Don't forget to hold the power button for 10 seconds to clear out any remaining charges. Remove the screws securing the panel. Check out the amount of dust build up here. Take off the side panels and remove the filters. As you can see the filter has a minimal amount of dust collected that's because I clean this main front filter every 2 days. The last time I gave this a good clean was 8 months ago. While using vacuum or blower to remove major dust from PC, holding the fans by not rotating by the force of the blower. Because spinning a fan too fast can send power back to the motherboard and fry the fan header and damage some components. So be safe, either disconnect the fan header from the motherboard or use some tools to secure the fan like this and prevent it from spinning. I make it a habit to frequently clean my workspace to prevent any of the removed dust from sticking back. Take a look at the dust buildup in the power supply fan filter. Alright, let's begin by disconnecting the GPU power cable. Now let's proceed by removing any screws that are holding the GPU to the case. Locate the small latch on the PCIe slot at the back of the GPU on the motherboard. Press it gently. Make sure to hold the GPU securely. Then carefully pull the GPU away from the motherboard to detach it from the PCIe slot. By the way, this beauty right here is the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3060 Amp White Edition. Now let's move on to removing the fan header and RGB header from the motherboard. Next up, let's take the fans out of the case by unscrewing them. Ensure to hold the fans from the back while you are unscrewing them. Observe how I removing the fan from the CPU air cooler. Oh my, take a look at how much dust has collected on this cooler. Now we are in the process of removing the hard disk from the case. We are now using a blower to try to get rid of majority of the dust from the PC. Ensure to use the blower at low settings to prevent any components on the motherboard from getting dislodged. Getting rid of extra dust with a brush and some cloths. Never use water on electronic items. Opt for isopropyl alcohol to safely remove the burnt dust instead. Alright, after a thorough cleaning, let's start putting all the pots back in their respective places. The fans are all cleaned up now. Let's go ahead and attach the fans back on the PC case. And secure it in place by screwing it onto the case. Now connect the GPU power cable. Connect the fan cable back to the motherboard. Let's finish up by adding the cleaned filters and side panel back onto the PC. Take a look at the PC now after a thorough cleaning, it's looking fresh and dust free. 
Is the moment of truth. Let's run Cinebench R23 and see how the temperature holds up. Oh, would you look at that? The max temperature is cool 90 degrees Celsius. That's a noticeable 7 degree difference. Here's the graph comparing the temperature before and after cleaning. I'm thrilled with the result. A cleaner, cooler PC. Mission accomplished. Thanks for joining me on this tech journey. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe for more tech adventures and hit the notification bell so you never missed out on the next one. Until then, happy computing and I'll catch you in next video. Bye.